Hey friends, I'm uh, checking in on Sunday evening. Um, no coffee, this is kind of uh, different. Pat Bullock noticed in my last video that um, I was um, hacking and it just got worse. And so I've um, been in bed all day, on and off all day, um, nursing this. Um, I know it's not COVID, I'm still negative. So it's a cold or, you know, just, it seems like it's um, so easy to catch cold when you do something like run out of the house um, with your head uncovered, <coughs> to do something right quick. It can happen that quick. Um, so I'm just kind of checking in and saying, um, hello, I finally feel... I'm not 100%, but I can um, I can sit up. I had a horrible headache all day, and it's like it's still just a shadow of it is left. For a moment after I did my COVID test, um, and the the uh, there were no other symptoms, but I checked. I went online to check at all the symptoms of a stroke, and it's not a stroke. It's probably a cold. So I just wanted to come on and say hello because my day has really sucked, you know. <clears throat> it's probably just as well because Easter has no meaning to me and so I wasn't going to do anything Easter-wise today. Um, the last couple records I played were just wonderful experiences, you know. Um, Someone asked me if I had ever lost the fire for music. I never did. When my band Digital Sex broke up for the final time, um, I was extremely depressed and, and, and at that point thought I would quit music for good and stopped playing um, in bands for over a year. But the music still saved my soul. Here's a recent um, acquisition of mine, Ashra Temple. Gin Rosé at the Royal Festival Hall. This is really special because it's the uh, reuniting of Manuel Gottsching and Klaus Schultz apparently for the first time in something like 30 years and this is beautiful. This is just what you they are the they are in the forefront of the pioneers of this way of making music which frankly is um very improvisational because of the nature of um, synthesizers, you know. Klaus Schultz himself has said, I don't know how to repeat sounds, you know, probably by now he does, but he was very frank that I, um, I don't know how to get these sounds, I'm just working it till something cool happens. This is beautiful. Gin Rosé. <coughs> See, there it is. It's um, not as bad. I mean, this when I got up this morning, I was, well, not even this morning, last night. Last night was miserable. I hate not being well. <coughs> Besides aspirin and soup and rest, the other thing that I know to do from my practices with Ayurveda and also some of my studies is that it's, di it's difficult, but we really can use our mind to aid the healing process and I do it I started trying this years ago and with 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 um, limited and not necessarily consistent success kind of like Reiki you know Reiki is an ancient practice that is um, well established all over the world so along those lines you know of, of focusing on on um, areas that are not well and uh, just willing it to, to move on, you know, and clear out. And for the body to do what it needs to do to get back on track. And it helps to do that. It does. That's my experience anyway. General Giant interview. Not yesterday, but the day before. I played this all the way through. Hadn't played in a long time. Love this band. And there are some ways that this music would be not would not necessarily um, translate well to n modern times, 
but that's beside the point. I just love this, the way they do things. This was a p period of time when the band was um, acquiescing to the, ra the record label and trying things for accessibility. So there is a reggae flavored song on here, which they could have left that the hell alone. They really could have. And um, <coughs> the other thing that I listened to and really enjoyed uh, the day before yesterday was Kaleidoscope, Side Trips. In particular, the last song on side one is, to me, a, a, de a definition of what a psychedelic song is. Keep your mind open. Fabulous, fabulous. David Lindley started in this band who went on to be in his band El Rayo X. I saw them and I saw him with, was it Neil Young I saw him with as well? I think so. So that's, that was, that's the update. <coughs> I do think it's n important to speak the way I speak regarding values and I think it's a shame that not more people do this that not more people are utilizing social media to try to send out messages of healing and um, unity and just health so I am also encouraged by the response you know in the comments and I even did one on Instagram yesterday if you follow me on Instagram I did a short one I had a good visit yesterday before I got before I fell ill um, with my good young friend Nick, and um, we check in. I I met I made it straight with him that we're friends. I'm not your counselor. You can't come over here looking for counseling. You know if you're not sharing your time with me, we got that straight. So see, so I get my share of time in our interactions. It's a real friendship. But he's struggling, like a lot of people, with mental issues. Now my, let me try to talk this out. My perception of part of what's going on is far beyond the usual um, um, cycles that people go through in the year with changing of seasons and barometric pressure and all that stuff. I think it's far beyond that right now. I think that there is a heightened sense of despair and and um, uncertainty. There are many factors that are in play right now that have dismantled our um, traditional view of what the future holds for us. Some of us are more aware of it than others. Some people do just stick their head in the sand and just act like nothing's changed, you know. But for folks that are a little more aware you can see that the war, the war actions, you know, the fact that it looks like we can't stop Putin without unloosing some real disaster on a large level. The climactic, disastrous weather that is happening on the planet virtually every day somewhere. The catastrophic flooding all over the world, you know, I've been seeing stuff down in Brazil, you know, it's just, geez, you know. Of course, mainstream media doesn't want to report on this because that has nothing to do with them being in charge of the money and the honey. That's, I think that's also perhaps um, an aspect that's getting to some of us more aware people is that we are aware that there is no leadership, that we do not have anyone in office anywhere substantially that has the best interests of the people in mind it's a game you know they're they're doing business and they're um a, they're they're gaining for themselves and this is both parties to you know it's 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 utterly broken so I think that that's part of what's going on. And, you know, it kind of comes up in the um, conversation. My friend Nick is 27, you know, and, you know, he's still having these thoughts about the future. And he just bought a house and, you know, would like to get married. And 
want to have a kid and then we start talking about that and we look at the landscape and what kind of world you know we talk about it so try to imagine your son or daughter you have them like within the next couple of years and by the time they turn 18 what will this world look like then because it's not going to look better it's pretty obvious so so as I always say, thank goodness for simple pleasures in life, for friendship, for love, for a simple pro appreciation of the arts that yeah, really keeps me going. And um, so that's what I want to say. And I'm whew, thankfully I'm feeling better here. Hopefully I'll be back to 100% tomorrow or the next day. I hate being sick. Talk to me, people. That's what Burning Spear says. Um, the reggae artist to um, Winston Rodney. I've seen him a couple times. Incredible shows. Plus, I got to meet him. That was even better. Man, he's got energy. He glows. But in during the shows, he'll just bell out. Talk to me, people. Talk to me. It's very effective, and it just keeps it lively. I was just thinking of him. Okay, people. Check in with me. Sorry, no coffee. It's too late, and it wasn't agreeing with me today because of how I feel. 